starting your journey to financial freedom. Now. Now. You're listening to the New Investor Podcast. Okay, so here's my current situation. Not only I have lost 100% of my 2019 gains, but I am also 22% down from my principal. Some would see this as a terrible situation, blame the whole world and sell off, never to consider investing their hard-earned money ever again. And I respect that, but you're missing on so much opportunities that three years down the line, uh, you will bitterly regret your decision uh, today. Others will stay calm and collected and will await for the best opportunities to average down on their current investment. The lowest point on the market so far in March was on the 23rd. Since then, recovery was more than 50%. Now, how do you feel? You just sold off all your positions. Not only you just lost a huge amount of money, but you also lost the initiative of building more wealth in the foreseeable future. And I will never repeat this enough. Every penny you manage to put on the side should go in your investment portfolio. If you have to eat pasta every single day until the crisis pass, so be it. I would like for everyone to start taking some altitude and uh, look at the bigger picture. Now, we cannot let COVID-19 threaten everything we have ever worked for uh, by staying idle. We have the power to turn this nightmare into something that could very well change our entire life for the better in the future. And I am in the exact same situation than you. To support my employer, I have accepted a huge uh, salary cut and I'm working from home and I have been revising my entire yearly budget, uh, taking into account the possibility for this crisis to last for three months or more. And here's what I did since. I have averaged down on only one of the companies on my portfolio, and I still believe we have not yet seen the lowest point in the market as this will be subject to how long the crisis will last. And the longer the world economy isn't shut down, the more chances we have to enter into a depression. I have uh, revised my entire yearly budget as set to ensure I still generate disposable income. And I had to revise my cost structure from first necessities uh, by buying in bulk and keep stocks uh, to ensure I bring my cost structure for groceries to a minimum should this crisis last. And I buy uh, wholesale on uh, first necessities and stock up on perishables uh, whenever I need. I made a seed investment into a start startup called Kino, which I believe, if successful, will be a major player post-crisis by offering a a new uh, credit card and debit card security solutions to consumers. And I strongly believe this crisis will give way to exponential growth in e-commerce and general online services. So this is your chance. And I'm looking at other startups, but be careful. Uh, As the money you invest in startups, you should actually be ready to lose it all. And I published my latest book, Becoming an Investor Towards Financial Freedom. Check it out on Amazon, and I left a link in the podcast description. I am on the process of rebranding my Instagram page and see if it can further grow from a different angle and refresh the perspective. And we must continuously adapt our strategies. It would be a mistake, I believe, to think uh, that we can continuously or continue to operate the same way as before. COVID-19 will have such a disruptive effect on our society that it is up to us to identify opportunities for additional sources of income. For those who have zero dollars to uh, very little on the side, you have enough money to start an Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, or TikTok account, produce content for these platforms, write and publish books, uh, self-learn about investing. You can create an online store for as little as $100 and take it from there. Yes, it all requires work, but if you are in quarantine right now, I think you have plenty of time on your hands to get organized. In the meantime, Stay healthy and stay invested.